So if you haven't heard, Amazon, Google, all the big companies are interested in drone technology. Um, this specific topic for Amazon and Google has a lot to do with instant delivery. Delivery in under 30 minutes. Can it be done? I don't know for sure. What has me baffled is the amazing speed at which these drones are rolling out and evolving. Uh, for example, let's take a look at something like Google Android. At first, the Android was just a terrible, laggy, horrible operating system. Now, the new latest Android phones, like the, Ga the Samsung Galaxy, are amazing. Absolutely amazing. The growth and evolution of these products has been outstanding. The same thing is kind of happening in the world of drones. Uh, you can actually purchase your own drone. You can get this little guy right here uh, for yourself. You know, uh, you look around online on Amazon, Google, look around on eBay. You can find them. Uh, you can find all kinds of them, different price ranges too, and they're pretty fun toys. Uh, as a industrial tool, um, imagine this, uh, a drone bringing you a package that you just ordered off the internet, or maybe a drone bringing you a pizza, or a drone bringing you a Happy Meal, or a taco, or whatever. So, as unpractical as it would be to deploy it, such a technology like this. I mean, that's dangerous. Uh, little spinning blades flying all over the city, crashing, uh, getting knocked out of the sky by birds or wind or whatever. Um, so, you know, the, this unmanned vehicle concept is, is pretty huge. Uh, let's check out this CNN article from October 30th, 2012. Self-driving cars now legal in California. Interesting, interesting. Uh, so, you know, this is just a quick article about it. You can find uh, the tests that have already taken place, I believe it was in Arizona. And this was by Google, um, Google Maps and Google Automated Cars. And, you know, it didn't turn out so well there. I think there was some accidents. I think a few things went wrong. Um, the testing stages are still in the early early periods um, here's a fairly recent one from December 27th 2013 uh, all over the country these things are being legalized uh, here's from stanford.edu this is a little chart showing um, as far as legislation is concerned, uh, not whether or not these states have legalized unmanned driving car laws for manufacturers to test, but just whether or not they have litigation. So as you can see here, half the country is at least talking about it in their Congresses, in their Senates. So, uh, I mean to prove any of this you would just have to prove it to yourself I can't prove anything to anyone you go look it up go look into it find out for yourself but yeah there is uh, quite a list here for you to dig through and these are just some of the things going on in the world Baxter of drones. Robot. this guy right here now I'd play the clip but God forbid you know someone scream about copyright infringement but you can go check this guy out uh, the videos are pretty intense he's literally programming this uh, robot from a terminal in Ubuntu it's it, he can you can program the robot by moving its arms and it will remember the movements that you've moved into it as a, a program it's it's actually very sophisticated I believe the specs were stated that this Baxter robot cost twenty thousand dollars, which may sound like a lot, but that is an employee at ten dollars an hour, full time, 
course, minus the the healthcare and all the other stuff that goes into it. So it's actually cheaper than a human, which is um, really the tipping point for this sort of technology. What point it begins to roll out onto the public is really at what point these machines become cheaper to purchase and maintain or the cost versus the cost of hiring an employee and if you're in America you and you employ someone you understand all the hidden costs about employing people so things to think about thanks for tuning in guys have a wonderful new year